Rebecca Brand from Rebecca Brand Productions. I am Cook Adult Swim Rebecca Brand Recipe. Ooh, I think, don't, wow. you, don't you have like a million YouTube followers or something like that? I've got 20 million views and 100,000 subscribers, and I'm most known for cooking with an iron. So if you ever see me on the beaches in Carpinteria, bring me an avocado and I'll make you some avocado toast. Rebecca Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Is that for a minute, Mr. City Manager? I'm not sure about that. He's going to check the local ordinances and see if it's per minute. This <laughs> is Rebecca Brown, so it looks like, what are you looking for in the kind of in the texture wise? And then just give us a hint of what your the initial the taste that you're really looking for that jumps out at you. All right, so in a guacamole recipe, it's really important that you have ripe avocados. That's key. As everybody would probably agree, if they're not ripe, they're gonna be hard and crunchy, you don't want that. You want the guac, you want the avocado part of it to be just a smush in your mouth. And you don't want it grounded up too much so it's like, you know, baby pea puree from Gerber. No, that's not what you're looking for. <laughs> You want the onions to be the crunch in it, but finely chopped because if you get a bite of big onion in your mouth, it's going to sting your mouth, it's going to blow no bueno. the rest of the taste down. No bueno. No bueno. So, when you come down to lime, you want to taste lime, not lemon, and that's because lime is the indigenous citrus of Mexico. Guacamole is a Mexican food, so you want to taste some lime in it. So those are the, oh, then the tomato. The tomato is the chunky texture that you find within the recipe. So the guacamoles go soft in your mouth. And then the tomato is more firm. And you want some of that because a guacamole has many different textures all in that one dish. That's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. So if you were taking notes, I would, I would come up afterwards and ask Rebecca, well, what, what can you do to help your guacamole become world champion guacamole maybe next year. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm Rebecca Brandt. And who are you? I have a YouTube channel that has 20 million views and 100,000 subscribers, but I'm probably more well known for my show on Adult Swim on Turner, because I cook with an iron all over the beaches of sunny Carpinteria in Santa Barbara County. And I did make really great stuff too. Like if you bring me an avocado on the ocean, I'll be happy to make you avocado toast. Just say hi. Well, that was a good, good rehearsal. Should I turn it on now? Uh, I'm just kidding you. Um, <laughs> where do you live? I live in Santa Barbara, California, near Hendry's Beach, where I like to go down a lot and have cocktails and cook with an iron. And where do we find you online? <laughs> So I have a show on YouTube called Rebecca Brown Recipes, and you can see 500 recipes. I make all kinds of stuff of everything, not only with an iron, but creamy chicken pasta, maybe a million and a half views, how to make a Big Mac, how to make things for family and for kids, and how to pack a lunch so your kids are eat healthy and have enough food to last them a day and to get their math. That was a second good rehearsal. You want more natural? That's, that's my SNL. Um, and you were chosen because you're a big YouTube star, I guess? Wow. The, the, I think the reason they chose me to be in a guacamole festival is I'm super passionate about food. I love avocados. And in our area, they're growing all over the place. So I always like to experiment with them. So I got lucky enough to be chosen to be a judge, where I got to taste, oh my gosh, there were 11 great recipes. It was really hard to figure out what the best one was. And it's in and you 